Good morning, this is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy, and today we're going to be talking about microcystic adnexal carcinoma. This is an important diagnosis and uh, one to easily overlook if we're not paying attention. So microcystic adnexal carcinoma is a, it's a tumor that's typically found in older people, and the presentation is um, a firm plaque, usually on the upper lip, the medial cheek, or even the chin, you can see a lesion here uh, right on the upper lip right there. So oftentimes these things will be shaved, uh, a superficial shave just to rule out a basal cell carcinoma. Let's take, a look, let's take a look at what we see under the microscope. So the first thing that we can tell is the architecture lesion is it's very, it's a nodule, it's lifted off the surface mat. And if you notice down here, we have all this darker blue stuff. So here's the tumor. It's a big kind of nodular uh, infiltrate, uh, nodule of very red and sclerotic type um, collagen, as well as these sort of anastomosing cords and, and tumor islands. And you can see even from this power that we have uh, at least some kind of uh, horn cyst type, type stuff. And you can even see up here too. So follicular derivation. And let's come to higher power to see what we have. So there is some follicular differentiation with these horn pseudocyst-like structures. And if you look closely, we also have these paisley tie-like structures. So this is a biphasic tumor, and that's the first thing that one should pay attention to that to tip you off for the right diagnosis. So when we see structures like this, typically we think about things like syringoma, which is a common uh, differential in this lesion. Uh, syringoma, but and then, and then you see we have these follicular uh, horn pseudocysts uh, present. So that's the initial tip off. The other tip off here is if you look at the collagen that's sort of in between these tumor islands, it's very dense and sclerotic. And <clears throat> so that's another feature. And if we come down deeper down, these are also, you know, just like we, in melanoma, whenever you see lymphoid aggregates, you definitely wonder about whether or not this is a malignant lesion. Certainly, oftentimes that points you in the right direction. So all these lymphoid aggregates down here, deep down. So another common feature that we see in this tumor to help us differentiate it from common mimickers is perineural invasion. And sometimes it could be hard to find, but let's see if we can see so, so some more of this lymphoid aggregate that we see in here. Um, I think there was a little focus that I found right here. So if you're going to use your imagination for a second, you notice the, the central area here is kind of slightly different quality than everything surrounding it. So I think these are tumor cells, and this in here is a small nerve twig. So the tumor cells can be pretty hard to differentiate from things like, uh, especially in like this small focus. It's hard to differentiate from things like desmoplastic trichoepithelioma or even morphic basal cell carcinoma. But the fact that we see sort of this, bi, um, this biphasic pattern with these paisley tie uh, tadpole shaped cell uh, structures, as well as uh, horn pseudocyst, that those are, you know, in combination, they're very, very helpful. Okay, so I'll come here again, and I think there was another focus of possible perineural invasion in here. You can see this is a peripheral nerve, and there's a couple of structures in here that are kind of suspicious. I'm, I'm not positive about this, but they're quite suspicious, and you know, you can throw a, a stain on it, and you can easily tell then if that is indeed perineural invasion. Okay, so let's, from overview, these lesions are commonly found on older people on the upper lip, cheek, or chin forms a big nodule and you can see from this power even how deep this lesion goes. It goes like, here we see adipose tissue. Uh, the lymphoid aggregates are quite helpful and the biphasic nature of this lesion, including paisley tie structures like you would see in sort of ductal or <clears throat> acrosyringeal like tumors, as well as these <clears throat> um, larger horn pseudocysts uh, are are very helpful in making a cor the correct diagnosis here. Um, the red sclerotic collagen is also a big feature here. So taken together, um, anytime you see a solitary lesion, what you think to be a syringoma on the upper lip or anything like this, um, 
if it's just a solitary lesion, I would probably just say, look, we just can't be sure, especially if it's touching margins. Um, I would definitely consider re-excising the lesion to look at the base. Okay, thanks very much. If this has helped you at all, please like, subscribe, and share it with somebody else that would find this helpful. Until next time.